In this section we're going to look at functions and of course calculus, we start the study of calculus um, using functions. So being very clear about what the definition of a function is, is very important before you undertake a study of calculus. Um, a function arises when one quantity depends on another and many everyday relationships can be expressed in this form. So, for example, we've already had um, some examples of functions in our lecture on lines. And one in particular was, if a car leaves Mathville at 1 p.m., travels at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour for two hours, then the distance in miles traveled by the car after t hours was found to be d for distance is 60 times t, where t is measured in hours. And of course, this activity for the car goes on for two hours. So this formula is valid for t between 0 and 2. And this is the definition of a function. And I've included an extra little dt here, saying d is equal to dt. And this signifies that the value of d depends on t. Um, or the value of d varies as the value of t varies. So we add t in brackets here to indicate that this d is not constant, but its value depends on the value of t. So we can use this formula to calculate how far the car has traveled at any given time t. Um, for example, after half an hour, the distance traveled is 60 times 1 half or 30 miles. That's a very simple example of a function where one variable, the value of one variable depends on another. In this case, the distance traveled depends on the amount of time that has passed since the car has left Mathville. Here's another example. Suppose you're trying to calculate the volume of a cylindrical glass with radius one inch. So we have our glass here in the shape of a cylinder. Its radius is one inch, so its diameter is two inches. And immediately you're probably saying, well, this the volume depends on what the height is. And that's exactly true. The volume is pi r squared, the area of the base. So the area here is pi r squared. And that's just pi here because we've decided that r is equal to 1 inch. So the volume of this glass is pi r squared, or pi, times the height. And then, of course, the volume is given in cubic inches here because we're measuring height and radius in inches. So the volume of this glass depends on the height. And we have a formula. We have the volume depends on the height, and it's equal to pi times the height. For example, if the height was 2, then the volume would be pi times 2, or 2 pi. And that's in cubic inches. And if the height was 3, then the volume would be pi times 3, or usually we put the 3 in front of the pi, and that again is cubic inches. In the next video, we'll look at the definition of a function, the algebraic definition, and we'll talk about its various properties.